The idea of fighting crystallized in 1971, mm. when Idi Amin took power. Then 1972, that's when I was going to the university. And when we go to the university, I remember we had a um, discussion with uh, the late Kisimba Masko. Uh, he was president of NUSU, National Union of Students of Uganda, under Idi Amin. And the situation was already difficult because uh, Amin had started killing people in uh, various areas of the country. And that's when uh, I was linked to Pronasa by the late Kitimo Kisimba Masko, who was in touch with the President Museveni. And we, were the internal, we formed the internal wing. Unfortunately, Kisimba Masko had to run away, to run away to Zambia, where he subsequently died. Then I remained behind with the likes of Mbawazi, uh, Amam Mbawazi, and uh, the late Godfrey Kajungu, and, and others, quite a number of us. The late uh, Echo, uh, Odoi Chwale, and uh, Osin Odoi, and Juan uh, Memujizi. That's where, where we started forming the internal group against Idi Amin, who was students. And when we finished the university in 1975, that's when we went to active recruitment and uh, mobilization for fighting Idi Amin. But earlier on, there were other attempts uh, at organizing, which uh, culminated in the execution of various comrades, like the late Karhanga, William Nkoko, uh, this man Karamuzi, and Oponai in northern Uganda, Paabor uh, Maribo in Kamarole, and others, Pasaba in Mbale. Uh, these were people linked to us, but although we didn't know, we didn't know them very well. They were, but we were, for, we were these, Sales, the, the, the sleeping sales within the country mm -hmm. that were organizing for that effort. Mm -hmm. Now, after that experience, the organization went into limbo for some time until 1975 when we rejuvenated it and started the struggle once again. Mm -hmm. It's at that time that we started recruiting fighters once and once more, like uh, when I recruited the late Kashanku, Kuz Koshim Shaban. And the late Fred Rijema, the late uh, Brigadier Shefali, General Coretta, the late Mari, and, and, and others. And we took them f for training to uh, Tanzania and then subsequently to Mozambique. They formed the nu nucleus uh, together with others who had come from uh, Teso, Pipino, Erabat, and others, and the General Sare. Then they formed the fighting nucleus for, for NASA. Mm. And, uh, together with the others who had been trained earlier on. Yeah. Uh, I mean, also had problems in his own country. So in order to divert the attention, the political attention in the country, he attacked uh, part of Tanzania called Kajira Salient. So he claimed that it was belonging to Uganda. And uh, so when he attacked it, that was, to me, what I called like manna falling from heaven because we were looking for that opportunity for all countries now to turn against the mean. Because in this, uh, in this world, these uh, neighboring countries normally have, according to international law, you are not supposed to interfere in another country's internal matters. But when I mean attack Tanzania, that was an opportunity for Nyerere to now mobilize all of us, to mobilize his forces, to support the rebel groups that were in Tanzania. Uh, we went under our president and we crossed into Uganda with the support of Tanzanians with their biggest gun called Sabasaba, which was introduced in the World Theater for the first time in the world. This is a gun with about 100 barrels, sometimes they have 40 barrels, and it is, was a very scary gun to, for those who had it. We moved really without any resistance, because all these soldiers of Amin were running away, practically were running away, the face of Tanzanians and Saba Saba. Oh yes, of course, many. Yeah, uh, for example, when I was trying to join the, the, the Bush War, 
uh, I was arrested together with the Tinyafuza, Tumuheru and late John Tumkunde and we were, we were put in a police station where we, we grabbed the guns and fought them. They killed one of us, three of us survived. And uh, I hid in uh, this present, uh, is it IMA now? It's, uh, it used to be Institute of Public Administration. I think it's now called something else. Here, yeah, Ginger Road Police Station. I think you were my, I, I hid there in my cousin's room, Hopu uh, Chivenjere, and they surrounded, they poured hundreds of soldiers. I dressed like a woman and jumped from third floor, went through, through them uh, at about eight in the morning. So I escaped. I knew if I had been arrested, I would have been killed.